we've been so yeah. now we're crying heaven send the rain come on now come on how many of you have been praying and fasting and sowing we've been but I'm thirsty for him I need him I need him I told Bishop I told Bishop last night I said you know my desires have changed I want Carol what God wants not what Cheryl wants but what God wants Kieran this morning I was on my way to church and I started praying and God led me to pray for you Kieran I didn't know you were even gonna be here this morning but God did Kieran you in a place aren't you but God said he know Kieran he know where you are he hasn't lost sight of you he hasn't he said you're still his child and just to hold on this too shall pass whatever you're going through Kiran he said this too shall pass I'm with you he said I ain't forgot you I haven't forgotten your kindness, your giving, your labor of love that you have shown toward the saints. You receive that, Kiran. You receive it. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. You know, I, I you know, we've been through this storm and and I went out after the, I asked Bishop, I say, when he went out, I didn't, I didn't really go out the next, I didn't go out that day. I just stayed in my house. And so I, I went, uh, so when I did go out, I, y'all don't sit down. <laughs> I ain't gonna be long. I, when I went out, my garden was tore up. My oak rib was tore up. My tomato plants was tore up. My cucumber plants was tore up. So I, so I said, okay, I gotta cut this, cut these back. I gotta cut them back. God has taught me, Alicia, don't go digging stuff up. Don't go plucking stuff up because the seed is still in the ground. It's still in the ground. And this may help somebody because what you sow, you gonna reap. And so I, 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 I cut them back. I cut my tomato plants back. And I told my tomato plant, I said, you may not produce any more this summer. I said, but you gonna produce in the fall. I had a nice cucumber growing, but the storm messed that up. I said, I may not even get no more cucumbers, but I'm going to see. Now, I went out there. I went out there Friday. I got a tomato growing, and I got a cucumber growing. <laughs> and my okra plant, it's going to come back. It's coming back already. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know, listen, 
whatever you have sown. And I know sometimes it looks like your seed is not going to produce. It's not going to produce. But it's in the ground. And the soil going to do what the soil is made to do. And the seed is going to do what the seed is made to do. And that seed is going to produce after its own kind. Now, I thought that, that I wasn't going to get no more cucumbers. But in between me cutting those cucumbers back, that plant back, and in between this week, I got a whole nice cucumber go growing. Brothers and sisters, whatever you have put in the ground, it's coming. If you put love in the ground, it's coming back to you. If you put meanness in the ground, meanness is coming back to you. If you put joy in the ground, it's coming back to you. If you put financial seed in the ground, that financial seed is coming back to you. It's coming back to you. I told y'all when I, I had to go take a test, I had to go take a, a, a mammogram and, a, and a, three, a, a 3D mammogram and an ultrasound on my breast. And I started not to go because it cost me so much money. But I say, Dr. Dark, I better go. Just in case something is wrong, I better go. So they told me, but Ms. Hines, you haven't met your deductible, so this is how much it's going to cost. Y'all, when I got home from the conference, I think it was, I think it was Wednesday night. No, it was Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday night or Thursday night. I got an email saying that <laughs> you got a refund. They refunded me all of my money but $4. $4, $4. And I don't know how God does it, but he said he's going to do it, and he does it. We just got to thank him for provision. Just thank him. Thank him. So you got a seed in the ground, but people, it's going to do what it's supposed to do. You just hold on. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Oh, we had such a wonderful time. <laughs> Y'all, we had such a wonderful time this week with the family conference. I know that some of y'all have been dealing with the hurricane and some of y'all may not have had power. I don't know, but you know, for some reason people didn't show up, but you know who showed up? The Holy Spirit showed up. God in the form of the Holy Spirit. And that young man, Byron Murray, oh my God, he, he spoke about God bless my bloodline. That was good. That was wonderful. And then we had Titus, Bishop Titus Stewart, and he talking about binding and loosing. Bishop Titus Stewart started out so slow like he didn't even, didn't even know what he was talking about. But that Titus Stewart dropped a bomb on us and he wore us out. Titus Stewart, he reminds me of an 18 wheeler, uh, Ramon. You know, an 18 wheeler starts off real slow. And you have to, she, how many gears an 18 wheeler has? Oh, they can have up to 18 gears. Well, he shifted up to 18 gears, y'all, and he wore us out. And then there was Bishop Darrell, who did what he always do, bring a word from the Lord. And so we had a wonderful time. And we just, you know, God just, he told me, he said, you, you know, I told God, I said, I don't have, I don't have the strength to rebuild this to rebuild this church. I just don't. He told me, I ain't never asked you to rebuild. <laughs> he said, I ain't asked you to rebuild nothing. But this conference has to be rebuilt. It does. Y'all listen, when we were a, a much smaller church, this house used to be filled. And we used, we, God give, has given us favor with some of the most famous preachers in America 
and they will come here and preach and we will have a wonderful time I'm praying that God will bring that back to that conference amen you know I, I told Bishop Darrell you know I say I, I, don't, I don't know Bishop Darrell if we gonna you know I don't know if we gonna continue this I said but God ain't told us to stop it and he said Cheryl you all can't stop this conference he said, don't you know the family is under attack more than any fam anything that God made? And I say, yeah. But we had a wonderful time. And Bishop and I, we're going to continue on. We're going to do it again. And we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it again. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your ever-present love. We thank you for your ever-present care. Heavenly Father, I lift up the Griffith family to you, dear God. I didn't know they were going to be here, but you knew they were going to be here. God, I know you got them. I know you got them. Through all that they've been through. And they've been through a lot. They've been through a lot. But Father, thank you that they're still standing. They're still trusting in you, God. They're still believing. Oh, you took one, but you gave three back. You gave them three more children. God, thank you for your faithfulness. Sometimes we don't understand what you do and why you do it. But God, we still got to trust you that you still got us. Father, we thank you so much. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for our conference. You provide it. You always do. We had a wonderful time, dear God. And people, Father, I pray for people that are recovering from this hurricane. Help us to learn the lessons of storms. Because you don't send storms just to send them. You send storms to teach us lessons, dear Father. Help us, Father, to seek you. Help us to seek your desires for us, not what we want for ourselves, but what you want for us. Help us to be hungry and thirsty for you. Father, I lift up Sister Gentry. I lift her up, dear Father. I pray that you heal her respiratory system, dear Father. Heal it in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for her. We, we send your angels to her. Touch her body, dear God. Bring her back, Heavenly Father, so she can strike those keys like you have given her the gift to hit them, dear Father. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's give Bishop a hand clap.